In this video, we will introduce the Reset Restart function of the S100. The Reset Restart function is a function that automatically resets the trip and restarts if the terminal block operation command is on after a trip occurs. This function can be used when you want to automatically clear and restart an intermittent trip. However, please note that the trip will be automatically cleared and the motor will rotate immediately. Next, let's see how to set up the reset and restart function. To use the reset and restart function on the S100, you need to set the operation command method to FXRX1 or FXRX2, i.e. terminal block operation command method in the operation group DRV parameter. Next, enable the reset and restart feature by setting the PR group 8 parameter to yes once. Set the number of reset start attempts in the PR group 9 parameter and set the restart delay time in the PR group 10 parameter. And you are all set. Let's see how to set the reset and restart parameters using the S100 keypad. The operation method can be set in the operation group DRV and it must be set according to the terminal to use the reset and restart function. Therefore, let's set it to 1FXRX1. The frequency command setting method can be set in the operation group FRQ. And in this video, we will set it to 0 keypad 1. Next, you need to set the parameters for automatic restart. Change PR08 to 1 yes to enable the startup function on reset after a trip. Set the number of auto restarts in PR09 and the auto restart delay in PR10. For this video, we'll set the number of auto restarts to 2 and the auto restart delay to 5 seconds. Now, to create a trip situation for testing, set one of the multifunction inputs to external trip. In this video, we will set the P4 terminal to external trip. The P4 terminal function setting can be set in IN68. Next, let's look at what to check when the auto restart feature is not working properly. First, the reset and restart function will only work properly if the terminal block operation command is turned on. If terminal commands are turned off, the feature will not work, so be sure to check that. Also, even if the P4 terminal set as external trip is still short-circuited, it will not be restarted due to the trip state, so be sure to open it after generating an external trip. Next, let's run the test with the parameters we set earlier. First, turn on the P1 terminal to run the motor. Turn on the P4 terminal to create a trip situation. When the trip message appears on the LCD keypad screen and the motor stops, turn the P4 terminal off. Since the external trip is a latch type trip, Turning the P4 terminal off will not clear the trip. Five seconds after the trip occurs, it will automatically reset, and the motor will run because the P1 terminal is left on. Repeat the same method several times. Since we set the number of restarts to 2 earlier, 
we can see that after the third external trip occurs, turning P4 off will not restart the motor. Thank you.